Uh, Netflix's <laughs> chilling adventures of Sabrina has invoked an unholy terror and, 100, and a $150 million lawsuit from the Satanic Temple. This, I don't even really want to talk about this. But we, we're we're going to talk we're, about it anyway. We're going to. To break down the devil in the details, we are joined by FIU law professor and author of Copyright Class Struggle, Creative Economics and Social Media in the Social Media Age, Hannibal Travis. Hannibal, walk us through this. Why is Netflix being sued? Well, it seems like there's a brief scene in, in one of the episodes in which the characters go to a large room where there's a statue of uh, a goat-headed man with small children looking up at him. And there is some evil scheme or something going on in this room. And the statue is very similar to the Satanic Temple's statue that they try to get installed at courthouses as a First Amendment message, uh, that they changed the historic picture of the, the devil or Baphomet as uh, a goat-headed man into this more modern version with children looking up at him. So they're alleging that they made that Netflix made an unlawful copy of their sculpture in the show and also used it on social media and in various ways to create confusion between the show and the satanic temple. So this animal would be a case of infringement then on their on their their likeness and, and property. Copyright in the statue and trademark in the statue as a something that the temple uses to distinguish its services from those of other religions and temples. Wow. Well, thanks for breaking that down, Hannibal. Um, do, do they have a claim for damages? Yeah, can, 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 yeah. Uh, will, will this hold up in court? They might have a copyright claim. They'll have more difficulties with their trademark claim under the First Amendment. The issue they'll have with the copyright claim is what is the fair market value, really, of using this statue in a TV show? Is there any history of licensing mm -hmm. a statue like this or this particular statue? Uh, there was a similar case, not similar, but there was a case against Mayweather, uh, the boxer, involving the use of a, of a beat or part of a song. And the court ultimately said that there was no money that could be recovered because they couldn't prove the value of the song in that context. That same kind of an issue may come up here. Hmm. Got it. I Got it. Okay. Well, that well, is why you don't mess with the devil. Okay, you all. <laughs> Lisa's been saying that all day. It but, is. But true story. <laughs> all right, Well, thank you so much for chatting with, with us thank about you, it and breaking it down. It's uh, super confusing, but hey, yeah. that's life, right? <laughs> so far. <laughs> all right. Have a good day, man.